Hi, I want to show you how you can get started with OpenBB Aladdin. First of all, you want to go into the OpenBB documentation, which is located at docs.openbb.co. Once you are there, you want to follow this page and you want to go into getting started and installation. Okay. When you are here, there's basically two requirements that you need to satisfy. One of them is uh, uh, you need to have access to Excel from Microsoft. And the other one is you need to have access to the OpenBB Terminal Pro. Um, and this is because the Excel add-in comes as part of our pro offering for enterprise. Uh, and basically it means that you have access to the same data that is on the pro, but from Excel. Okay. So let's get started. I'm going to just minimize this slightly and then visualize in Excel. Okay. You'll see here that I already have access to OpenVB, but that is not my add-in that is managed by the, the admin of our account. So basically if I click here on admins and I go into get add-ins, which is where I'm supposed to add individually, you'll see that I have an admin managed, but as my add-ins, I have none. So we want to go into the store because I'm going to show you how to do individual user. So we are already on the insert tab. We are already on the get add-ins. Once you are here, you click, you, you type open BB, you will find it. You click on add, you read the license terms and privacy policy, and that's it. That's it. You have access now to open BB, but that's not the entire story, because as I said before, you need access to the open BB terminal pro. So one additional thing that you'll have to do is basically sign in onto your account. And in this case, you'll see that I'm already signed in because I already have access from my admin, but you will need to provide your user and your password and log in. Once you are logged in, then you'll be, uh, you'll have access to the data. Okay. And so let's say that you're on the documentation and you're like, okay, what data do I have access to? You can go into reference and here you'll see the multiple types of uh, data that we provide. So let's go into, for instance, economy, and you'll see that there's a CPI here and you have here access to all of this data. However, there's a better way to do this, and that's right from Excel. So if I increase the size of this page, what I can do is I can click on the reference on my OpenVB Excel add-in, can even make it bigger, and now I can go into economy. And so you'll see the same that the docs uh, documentation uh, is showing, but right from Excel. So making it much easier to um, getting started. In this case, we want, let's say, we use uh, this. So I'm going to go uh, into OBB. Once you start typing, you'll have uh, auto completer by default. And what you want to do is use the arrow to select the option you're interested in, in and then click tab. Okay. Once you click tab, it will show you the syntax exactly the same as is shown on the docs. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and use Portugal because that's where I'm from. Okay. And this should um, display the data. This should be the data from 1960s, I, I believe. Yep, that is correct. Now, let's say that you want to um, have this data only from 2021, okay? So there's two ways you can do that. One of them is here directly, so you, you could uh, just add commas until you need, you are on the option of start date here. Or another way you can do this is by clicking on this FX here, which is the formula builder. And so it basically helps you on uh, like populating the function in a way. And so you can see not just what uh, parameters you have access to, but you can see a small description of them, which is more than what you get when you are uh, editing directly here. So as a starting date, I know that the format is uh, year, month, date. Uh, in this case, it's going to be string. So I'm going to do 2021, 01, 01, 01, and then close string. And then I click enter. And you'll see here that formula builder is populated directly um, this uh, tab and now the data starts from 2021 and yeah that's it